I can't believe I'm doing this. Cold. Really cold. Come 1st of January 2023, I decided to do ice cold showers in the morning. But I also do this. So just to show you how cold the water is, it's about six degrees in the water. So in order to lower the temperature from six degrees Celsius down to even lower, I need some ice. So let's go get some. Lucky that I have prepared some. Yes, it is quite cold to be honest and I experienced that my fingers usually freeze up a lot but when, once you get in it's it's uh, quite nice it hurts ah, let me get this ice off my back Hur hurts around the neck but as you can see a few seconds and then you cool down and then you can start to relax but yeah the eyes around the neck hurts a bit Let's see what the temperature is at the surface. I wonder how cold it is at the bottom. It's plus one. Yeah, so initially you panic a lot, but and yes, I'm, I'm covering up my um, Christmas. <laughs> That's because my hands uh, really hurt when they're in this cold environment. Uh, but it's quite nice after a while. It, it really hurts around the neck, especially since there is ice around the neck. As you can see, it's quite red. Yeah, it's a lot of work for a few, a few minutes, but mm, the effect on the body is quite good. Uh, it kills your, uh, your inflammation in one minute. And in the end, it, it helps. It's done huge things for me. The dopamine levels from this is enormous. Uh, and I get to do a lot more things when I when I cool down like this. Usually I do it in the afternoon after one one o'clock about because that's when I sort of down a bit. So that's when I can kick in again. But yeah, it's now it's I don't even know this. The neck doesn't hurt that much anymore. No, it's just oh, bliss. And remember, this is also what happens if you were to step through uh, the ice on a lake. If you haven't practiced for it before, 
you will freak out once you're in the water. I can tell you that cooling down my head as well will give me a brain freeze, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but it, it's great exposure therapy for when put in a bad situation. Of course, it can never resemble a really acute, bad, chaotic situation, but at least my body knows how it feels to be in this sort of state. Uh, I also know how many minutes it takes until my toes starts hurting like hell. Coming up on three minutes now. 252.53. Yeah, mostly it's the hands that fall apart. Uh, they fall apart for me within 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, they survive now and I can use them because I'm, I'm covering them <laughs> my, my beautiful uh, uh, otherwise it wouldn't work. I have to have them above uh, the waterline. Um, so yeah, it just goes to show how vulnerable we are as human beings when exposed to cold, uh, cold temperatures, especially water. My toes now, it's 3.37. Um, and my toes are really starting to hurt. Really hurting. But I think that, yeah, five minutes is... I have done this for 11 minutes. Remember, it's about one degree down at the bottom uh, um, on this uh, bathtub. So, of course, the toes are freezing. Uh, just another 55 seconds to go to be up at five minutes hell it's this is not really that smart uh, two minutes is usually what you should be doing I'm gonna stick out my toes now <laughs> because they are really hurting I think I'll survive and get the kick out of this anyhow yeah. 15 seconds And there we have five minutes. I also shower in that cold water every single morning to wake up. I do that before I go and stand in the sun and before I drink my coffee. Temperature. Today I'm doing it to wake up because I'm quite fuzzy in the brain and I have some inflammation from the training. So it's below two degrees up at the surface. Let's see what's up down at the bottom. It's actually a water Oh my god. Oh, that ought to wake me up. It pinches a bit. Otherwise, it's uh, it's okay. Much better without the ice and when it's just cold. Recommended is one to two minutes because you will get sort of slight hypothermia. But I feel less than two minutes, and the science shows that you do not uh, kill the inflammation in your body, and that's what I'm aiming for. I want to reduce all my inflammation so that I can uh, go and work and produce better. But this time it's... I usually just pull blood. Right, I'm done. One thing I do after I've been in the bathtub and cooled myself down is actually do some exercise to warm up again. That's a perfect way of burning the calories. And as you can see, I'm not the slimmest of men out there. <laughs>
is a basic routine you can use to increase your dopamine levels in the afternoon when you have your daily dip to be more creative. You can also burn more calories and get the training in afterwards to get the heat up again. I use this method to stay positive and make things happen in my life. Otherwise, I don't get things done. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.